Cal BHP UK and we're just about to start development on BMW's 900cc middleweight. It is the F900R, they make about 105 brake horsepower as claimed by the factory at the crank. Uh, this one's had a little bit of work done to it, it doesn't really affect us too much. We can uh, still manage to get into the ECU, work out how the algorithms and the architecture of the ECU works. We're just about to do that. We've got the ECU off, it is on the test bench upstairs, we're taking some reads of that. As soon as we've done that, we'll put it back on the bike, get some dyno runs done, get lots and lots of data logging done and do what we always do. We'll gather all the data, come up with a tuning strategy to optimize the performance of this bike. BMW F900R. Uh, we've got lots and lots of experience with the BMWs and it wasn't going to take us a long time to get this one cracked. Uh, as with all Euro 5 bikes, the biggest gains are made at the bottom. Uh, at 100% we've gone up from 99 to a full 100 brake horsepower at the back wheel. So that's a gain of a couple of ponies, you're not really going to notice it. But the biggest gains are made below 50%. At 50% you see a lot of smoothing in the throttle. If you look at the fuel plots, you can see now we're at 13.2, it's the datum line that we want to be on on this bike. And again, at 25%, you can see quite a big difference uh, in the power, uh, the way that the power is delivered. You can see it's a lot smoother. It's a, a much more linear uh, power plot. But the real gains, again, are going to be in the throttle response. You can see from the fueling, we've hit the datum line all the way across the rev range and the bike's just going to ride smoother. The engine's going to be smoother. You're going to get a smoother throttle response and we've reduced the latency. At the moment, this is not available on our ECU flasher. It is something that we are working towards and we'll let you know as soon as we manage to do that. However, you can bring your bike to us. We can set it up on the dyno for you or alternatively, these you can port the ECU across to us. It's a fairly simple procedure to get the ECU out. It's just sat below the seat. There's four bolts to get that out and it's a simple case of popping that in the post to us wherever you are in the world and we'll get that modified and sent back to you. We really hope you're enjoying what we're bringing to the channel. Please do hit the subscribe, like and the bell icons. It'll keep you notified of any new BMW Motorrad content that we're bringing to the channel.